McDonald's is the largest restaurant chain in the world, with over 40,000 restaurants spread over 120 countries. Now I will show you step by step how to edit this clip. Change the timeline frame rate to 60 FPS. You will need these images. I've packed everything you need in a Google Drive folder, which you can find in the comments. Drag a fusion composition to the timeline and change the clip duration to 10 seconds. Go to Fusion, get a background node and make it red. Merge McDonald's logo to the background. Decrease the size with a transform node. Mask the R icon with a rectangle mask and invert the mask. Add color corrector node here, go to options and tick this box, then copy these settings. I move the color corrector node on top of the transform node. Keyframe the angle from the transform node at frame 0. Set the angle to minus 2 at frame 30, 2 at frame 60 and back to minus 2 at frame 90. Open the spline. Select everything and hit F from your keyboard. Then select only these three points and click here. Decrease the size drastically and position the logo to the top left corner as shown. Open the tool menu by pressing shift and space. Add duplicate node under the transform node. Set the copies to 25 and decrease the eye position until there is only 10 logos visible on the screen. Add a new transform node here. Go to frame 0, keyframe the position and increase the eye value until the lowest logo becomes visible, like so. Move to the last frame of the comp and decrease the eye value so the top logo comes visible. Take the output of the duplicate node and merge it. Then move it right from the merge node, so it's next to the first line. Then take the output of the transform node and merge it. Move it right from the merge node, so it's next to the second line. Then again take the output of the duplicate node and merge it, and move it right. Repeat this action until the screen is full of logos, and every other line should be moving downwards. Render the fusion composition in place, so it shows up in your media pool. Remove the comp from the timeline and create another one. Set the duration to 10 seconds and go to Fusion. Get a rendered Fusion comp. Get also a background node. Open the rendered comp in Second Viewer by selecting the node and hitting 2 from your keyboard. Open the background node in First Viewer by hitting 1. Change the background node color by using the eyedropper tool and selecting the red from the rendered comp. Then decrease the blend from the merge node, add transform node and keyframe the size and angle at frame 0. Copy these values, go to frame 40 and set the size and the rotation to normal values. From the spline, smoothen the animation. Select the points and hit T from your keyboard to adjust the ease in and ease out. Set the ease out to 0 and the ease in to something like 65. Get McDonald's logo and merge it. Get two color corrector nodes and merge them behind the logo. Connect the logo to color corrector nodes. Add transform node, scale the logo down and mask the R icon out. Keyframe the size at frame 0 and bring it all the way down. Go to frame 40 and bring it to about 0.4. From the spline, set the ease in the 100 and ease out to 10. Copy these settings to the right one and these to the left one. Add transform node under the color corrector nodes. From the left transform node, keyframe the position at frame 0. Change the x value to 0.4, go to frame 40 and set it back to 0.5. Put the same keyframes to the right transform node, but change the x value to 0.6 at frame 0. I added glow nodes, but I removed them later because they didn't work out. Select these two transform nodes and go to spline. Set the ease into 70 and ease out to 5. Add vignette and copy these settings. Create a new background and make it yellow. Create a rectangle mask and shape it like so. I change the color to more orange, so it's not so bright. Add shadow under the background node and copy these settings. Add text and merge it under the shadow. Type largest with caps lock. Change the color to red. Scale the text up and set it to extra bold. Position the text so it's as wide as the yellow box, but there is space left below. Add the displace node under the text node. Get a fast noise node and connect it to the green arrow of the displace node. Copy these fast noise settings. Copy paste the text, fast noise and the displace node to the other side of the node tree and merge the displace node. Type restaurant with caps lock. Scale the text down and position it under the word largest. Add a drop shadow before or after pasting the nodes and copy these settings. I organize the nodes a little so it's easier to work with them. Add transform node here. Select the transform node behind the media out and go to spline. Highlight everything and click here. Drag the right side line to the right by 20 frames. Next, go to frame 37. Keyframe the position from the transform node we just added and bring the yellow rectangle all the way down. Then go to frame 68 and bring it up. 
go to the spline and make the ease in to 90 and the ease out to about 10. I went over to the very first merge node and decreased the blend to 0.26 to make it look even better. I also forgot to do one crucial thing. Go to the last transform node and increase the size from the last keyframe to about 1.15. Decrease the size of the yellow rectangle and the McDonald's logo. Drag your earth and merge them after the McDonald's logo. Add a transform node, keyframe the angle at frame 0. Go to frame 500 and make the angle to minus 250. Copy paste the node 3 once and remove the minus from the angle value from the pasted transform node. Move to frame 59 and keyframe the positions from the transform node. Then drag the two globes to the sides so they can't be seen. Then move to frame 99 and drag them here. At spline, make the ease in 75 and ease out 0. Go to the transform node of the yellow rectangle and decrease the ease in. Add paint node after the rectangle node tree and click here. Create a track like this. Change the color to yellow and copy these brush control settings. Smoothen these up by holding the handle, then holding the control and moving it. Edit the track so it looks like this. Go to frame 66. Keyframe the right on and bring end all the way to the start. Then move to frame 77. Bring the end back a little so the line is as wide as the globe. Also, take the start as close to the end as possible without becoming visible. Then at frame 140, move the whole thing to the end. Copy paste the paint node and click this box here. Drag the right side to the left and the left side to the right. Then move it to the bottom of the screen. Copy paste the McDonald's logo and the rectangle mask which we used earlier. Also get the GPS icon. Merge the GPS icon after the logo. Add transform nodes after the pictures. And add color corrector node between the GPS icon and the transform node. Copy these color corrector settings to the GPS icon. Merge the merge node to the main pipeline. Put the bottom merge to the viewer and scale the images down as shown. Drag this transform node under the other one. Go to frame 10 and keyframe the size from the bottom transform node. Then go to frame 0 and set it to 0. I turned the last transform node off so I can see the whole picture. From the upper transform node, keyframe the size at frame 18 and at frame 8 set it to 0. I delayed the keyframe by 4 frames from the upper transform node. Then I made the animation longer by 10 frames and set the ease out to 0 and ease in to 60. Copy paste these 4 nodes 20 times and connect them to the pipeline. Bottom transform nodes are for the GPS icon, so connect the color character output to the yellow arrow of the bottom transform nodes. Speed up the process by holding control whilst dragging the line so it copies it. Then repeat the same process but connect the McDonald's logo to the upper transform nodes. After you're done, select the bottom merge nodes and start positioning the logos as you like. Go to the frame 142 and select all the transform nodes. Go to the keyframes tab and tick all these arrows down. Select all these keyframes from up to down and drag your mouse off the table so everything is selected for sure. Move the keyframes so the bottom one starts at frame 142. Now we want the animations to start at different times. Select a pair of transform nodes at a time and move the keyframes randomly forward. Just make sure the animation doesn't go over the frame 195, so don't drag it far. Next, copy paste the yellow rectangle node tree once. Go to frame 169 and keyframe the blend from the merge node of the first yellow rectangle node tree. Go one frame forward and set it to zero. From the copy pasted node tree, keyframe the blend at frame 169 and set it to zero. Go one frame forward and set it to one. Set the blend to zero from the middle merge node. Now we will animate the numbers. Go to frame 170. Click the left side text node. Type 35,020 and keyframe it. Increase the size and bring it to the middle of the rectangle. So, how this works. First, the number changes after 3 frames from the first keyframe. So the keyframe we just created. Then, from that keyframe, it changes after 2 frames. Then 3 frames again from that. And then 2 frames again.
go to frame 247 and add a transform node to the left side and keyframe the position. Go two frames forward and bring the text down a little. Type restaurants to the right text node. Keyframe the blend at frame 249 from the middle merge node. Go one frame forward and set it to 1. Add transform node to the right side. Scale the text down and position it on top of the other text. Keyframe the position from the two globes at frame 249. Go to frame 266 and drag them to the sides. Go to spline and make the ease out 0 and the ease in 65. Copy paste the yellow rectangle node 3 second time. Now you should have 3 of them. At frame 309, keyframe the blend of the yellow rectangle node 3, which is in the middle. Go one frame forward and set it to 0. Then keyframe the blend of the merge node from the just copy pasted rectangle node 3 at frame 309 and set it to 0. Go one frame forward and set it to 1. Also, remove the other blend keyframes from the merge node of the third node 3. Reset the blend from the middle merge node and set it to 0. Reshape the rectangle mask like this. Type 101 to the left text node and keyframe it at frame 310. Scale the text up, then same thing as earlier with animating the numbers. 3 frames, 2 frames, 3 frames, etc. Keyframe the position from the left transform node at frame 354. Go 4 frames forward and bring it up. Also, put the motion blur on from the left transform node of the second and third yellow rectangle node tree. Set the quality and shutter angle to the max. Then, back to the third node tree. Keyframe the blend of the middle merge node at frame 354. Go 1 frame forward and set it to 1. Type countries to the right text node. Scale the text down and position it under the big number. Decrease the size of the big number just a little. I adjusted the vignette so it's more visible. Add Gaussian blur in front of the first McDonald's logo. Set the strength to zero. Set a keyframe for strength at frame 42. Go to frame 56 and set the strength to about 200. Set another keyframe at frame 60. Then go to frame 79 and set the strength to about 300. From the spline, make the ease out 0 and ease in 50. Go to the first yellow rectangle node tree. Add a displace node under the background node and connect a fast noise to it. I set the scale to 12 and seeth to 1.7 from the fast noise. Then copy paste the displace and the fast noise to other two node trees to the exact same locations. I also added the ash overlay from the edit tab. Drag the clip on top of the fusion composition and set the composite mode to screen. I also increased the size of the globes so the clip looks more identical. I decreased the opacity of the ash overlay to about 30. I changed the speed of the overlay clip to 200. Then I added zoom blur after the Gaussian blur and keyframed the zoom blur at frame 0 and set it to minus 1. I set another keyframe about at frame 30 and set it to 0. Add camera shake to in front of the last transform node and copy these settings. Then set a keyframe for the overall strength at frame 200. Set another keyframe at somewhere around the frame 50 and set it to 0. Add yellow background after the camera shake and add a rectangle mask. Bump the soft edge to the max and shape the mask like so. I added glow and decreased it nearer to 0. Go to the frame 169 and keyframe the blend. Go one frame forward and set the blend to about 0 0.7. Go to frame 173 and keyframe it again. Then go one frame forward and bring it to 0. Copy paste the background node tree. Go to frame 3. 309. Select the merge node and open the keyframes tab. Move the keyframes so the first keyframe is at frame 309. I change the shadow of the yellow rectangle to these settings and set the blend to 0 0.3. I copy pasted the shadow to the other yellow rectangle node trees and removed the old shadow nodes. I hope this was helpful. If so, watch this video to learn more. See you there.